the last thing we need to touch on before we close rigid body kinematics is rolling motion so here is a typical picture of a body b1 which is the pink one rolling upon another body which i will call b0 which is the blue one point p is the contact point and this point p traces a contact path in this picture the contact path is given by this curve in black we will differentiate points coincident with point p which at this moment lie either on bo body b1 or on body b0 and we will call these points p0 and p1 so p0 is a point coincident with p which lies on b0 and p1 is a point coincident with p but which is attached to body b1 so this is the setup for a typical rolling motion we say that the body b1 the pink one here rolls without slipping on the body b0 if the velocity of the point p1 vp1 equals the velocity of the point p0 vp0 where we recall that p1 is attached to b1 and p0 is attached to b0 this is a rolling condition and i will call it rolling condition 1 because it deals with velocities i'll have one later on for accelerations couple of comments here the contact point which is p is not a material point so let me give you a simpler example which you are used to from your pre je days i am sure so here is a disk so that's my body b1 which rolls on the ground which is my body b0 and the contact point is this which i will call p let me call this b1 this is b0 so clearly vp1 is equal to vp0 is equal to 0 because the point p 0 on the ground does not move as the ground is fixed but clearly after some time the disk is over here and the point p has moved to this point so clearly point p is moving with time but the points p1 and p0 which are momentarily on the body b1 and b0 are not moving they have zero velocity so this is what i mean by saying that the contact point is not a material point and the velocities vp1 and vp2 do not equal vp in general to repeat this point p is not attached to the pink body it is not attached to the blue body it is the contact point it is not a material point and in fact that is why the contact point can sometimes exceed the velocity of light because it is not a material point this i have already just said that in case the body b0 or this one over on the top is stationary then vp0 is zero so that vp1 is zero so this is the usual condition that you are used to in solving problems of disks rolling on planes coming now to acceleration so over here on the top picture where i have the contact curve or the contact path i have also indicated the tangent at this moment to the contact point and i am calling this tangent t the rolling condition 2 on accelerations states that the acceleration of point p1 which is the point on the body b1 coincident with the contact point so the acceleration of this point p1 along the common tangent t equals the acceleration of the point p0 on b0 along the same tangent t this also means that the acceleration of p1 and acceleration of p0 are not equal only their components along the tangent are equal and of course neither of them is equal to the acceleration of the contact point again you need to look at this picture so suppose uh, this disk was moving at some acceleration 
now a p 0 dot t this is the tangent t is 0 so therefore this must also be the acceleration of p 1 along t so therefore both p 0 and p 1 do not have any acceleration along t however point p will be moving at the same acceleration a as the disc clearly from the geometry of the problem again if the ground is fixed then the a p 1 dot t will be 0 just like what we have used over here on the right so this is rolling motion it is a fairly common contact and rigid body systems where one body will roll over the other for example gear systems frictional disks sometimes it is also called pure rolling let us now use some of these rolling conditions and try and solve a problem.